Hi guys, Kyung here, and I'm <laughs> I'm super excited. So the other day I made a tag, as you know, and I made I used this little fussy cut booklet that Jean sent me in a happy mail, and I love it. I love this fussy cut book, and um, uh, I was asked in comments by Bernice like, where do you find how to make this thing? You know, and I was like, dude, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, because it was sent to me, I have no idea. But I started looking at it, and I thought, you know, I bet I could recreate this. So I kind of brainstormed a little bit, and I did a prototype, and look, here it is. I used, like, just scraps, uh, a scrap um, cardstock and, like, some scrap paper. But look, it's basically the same thing. I think it is the same thing. Um, so I thought, well, I'll show how to make it. Why not? So mine's a little tiny bit bigger, um, but you know, I suppose you could make it however big or small you want, depending, you know, on your main size of your main papers. So I have this ugly 12 by 12 that I'm going to use, and for like the little outside cover. And so we're actually going to measure today, and I'll put all the measurements also down below in the description. So. Let's see, we need to cut this one at nine and a half. By four and a half. Four and a half, is that right? Yep, nine and a half by four and a half. Yeah, this you could... Looks like you could even use up your scrap papers for this project, since you're only using that much. Nine and a half by four and a half. We'll put this guy away. Okay, and then we're gonna score it. Do, do, do. So we're gonna score at three and a half, and then again at another three and a half, right? So three and a half here, right? So, and three and a half again would be, let me do math. One, two, three and a half will be all seven. Oh, but hold on a second. Wait a second. Before you do that, you want to score one eighth of an inch like this. Okay, and then from there, and you know what, what I'll do just to make it easy. Oh, we'll put this here and score this at three and a half. And then again, at an eighth of an inch from that mark. There we go. So you have something essentially that looks like this. So let's put this away. Try to fold this in. Fold this one too. Right, so you have this little one eighth of an inch space. Same goes for the little top. It's so hot today. It's like 91, 92 degrees. It's hot. It's been like that for a couple days. I know some people are having like three, you know, three digit temperatures. We got. So hopefully we'll get some rain. It'll cool down a little bit. And then I'm going to trim this just by a little bit. I guess I will get my thing out. That's fine, because we need to cut the paper too. So you need three sheets of paper. I'm gonna use some scrap uh, stationery I have. Just gonna cut off a little bit. Okay, so I have these three pieces of stationery paper. Whatever paper you wanna use, I think will work. So we need to cut that at nine and a half by six and a half. So nine and a half. By six and a half. All right, 
And we should be done with the guillotine. So we have three of these. Now we have to score them. So first you want to score them at a half an inch just along the side. And so you put the long end up on the top of your scoreboard and then you score half an inch down the side on all three. Oh yeah, the poor dogs, they're all hot. And one of our dogs, Phoebe, our puffy black one, she, sometimes I wonder about her. <laughs> she'll be outside and like, she'll just overheat herself. And we have to kind of drag her inside, like, <laughs> don't know what her issue is. And I, I, you know, I think she likes to sit in the sun and sunbathe, which is, that's fine. But then she, I think she overheats and then she doesn't want to move because she's overheated. And so we always got to keep an eye on her and go out there and bring her in. <laughs> Poor girl. Okay, and she's all, you know, has all this long hair. And then we're gonna fold them in half to meet. So with this folded, we're gonna fold these in half. Like that. All three. So yeah, I was all excited when I was like looking at the book, this little fussy cut book, and I was like, you know, I think I know how to do this. I think I, I think I, so oh, I sat down and I just kind of like, I was like, well, let me do a prototype first, just in case. <laughs> in case I don't know what I'm doing um, and yeah it just came came out and I was like oh so I wrote down you know all the steps as I was doing them and uh, all right and then one more just gonna glue this one just gluing the flap to the inside of the paper like that. Ta -da. Now we want to fold them in half again. So our openings are on this side. We want to fold them in half like this. Okay, just fold all three really quick. And then we're going to like put them together like a book, I guess. But then we're going to glue the pages like together. So we're going to put them like this. See? And then we're going to glue the pages together. So let's first make sure we're not too badly fanned. I think it's fine. Let's really crease this though. I feel like that's going to help. And then we just start gluing them. So we glue the middle pages together. I think just along the middle, all the way up like that. Right? So there it is. So this one. And then this one. Just all of them. Try to make sure that they're even. Otherwise, they'll, you know, you'll have some poking out on the side. <laughs> All right. So, yes. I am going to continue on the romance journal and everything, but I, after sitting and looking at this, um, I just got all excited and I was like, I have to make one and I have to show it. Oh, by the way, 
Um, I don't know originally where this idea comes from, um, right? Because the original one was sent to me from Jean. So if anyone knows, you know, originally, like who, you know, uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll give them credit and stuff in the description. So, okay. So there's that side. Oh, looks like we're all done. So there it is. We have our little accordion. And then we have this piece. So this goes like this, and this is our top, right? So we need to round our corners. I mean, we don't have to round our corners, but don't really have my punch. It's okay, we'll do it by hand. So I don't have my punch. It's over all across the room. There we go. Okay, so we stick this thing in this thing like this, right? So when we glue it, we're going to glue the entire page, just the whole thing. And I'm using Cosmic Shimmer, but I think any glue would work. I don't think it matters. I think any glue would work for this. like that and then again on the back doop, 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 doop. fold it up okay there it is see dum -da dum then we just put some Velcro on it and a little fussies. So I printed, printed these out, just some little, little words. Doesn't need to be perfect. It's just for me to keep my fussies in. These are so quick and so easy and use up scraps. Ta-da! Fussies. And then we want a flower on there, right? Because that's what is on here. So I have these. We can pull out. So we'll take a big one and then one of these ones. And then perhaps like this. Yeah. Oh, look at the purple matches and everything. Awesome. Okay, we need a brad, and I have these pretty ones. Let's use the green since, well, how would that, I think that will look good. I think, let's just go with it because there is green in that cardstock, so let's just use it. And let's get my all, my really cool antique all. That really still works really well. I love that thing. It is a little dangerous though, so. <laughs> I'm trying to get this offset. Come on, get offset. It doesn't want to. I don't think it matters. Just stop, stop butting. Okay. There we go. Stick our Brad in there. Oh, look at it, it's so cute. And then we stick the flower on it. So there's our flower. And the green is a little odd, but I think it matches fine. It's fine. All right. <clears throat> so, oh, and we need these. So 
I got these at the Dollar Tree. Look at that, 20 pair for a dollar. Um, they're probably not the most sticky. So I use, and I will also use E6000 also for the flower. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's put these on first. Try not to, I always try not to breathe when I use this stuff. It's so stinky. And I'm in the basement. <laughs> so that's fine. We'll glue these on and then that'll be it. Oh. oh. The problem is making sure. I don't care about any glue that squeegees out. I can always use my glue eraser, um, which I also got at the Dollar Tree, but these things are amazing and they work really well. And so, especially for things like E6000 and stuff. So I'll wait till that dries, you know, and then I'll go in with my glue eraser and I'll, um, I'll get rid of it. And then we have this flower. So, just put this guy on here like that okay close up our glue so there it is look it needs to dry um, I don't want to really use the velcro but yep there it is it's so cute. And then, you know, you can put like little labels on the inside to say, you know, butterflies or, you know, labels or you know, tickets or whatever, stamps, whatever. They're great. And uh, you could definitely make them bigger too. Um, like you could make bigger ones, you know, so just scale up your paper. So yeah, that's it. It's super fun, super easy. Um, I was happy that I like, I looked at it and I figured it out and I was like, yeah, let's make one. So there it is. And um, now I just need to fill it up. <laughs> so now I have three. One, two, three. Um, so thanks guys for hanging out with me. Uh, I hope you guys have a good day. Um, bye.